Hi friends, welcome to techguru.cloud. In this video, we are going to learn what Jenkins is and how to install and configure Jenkins on a Red Hat 7 server. So Jenkins is an open source automation server which can be used to automate all sorts of tasks related to building, deploying and testing software. It is widely used continuous integration server. Continuous integration is the process of automating the build and testing of code every time a developer commits changes to version control. Jenkins can be installed through native system packages, Docker, or even run standalone by any machine with a Java runtime environment installed. So since the basic requirement is Java, let's start with installing Java on a Red Hat 7 machine. So Java is now installed. So next step is to download the Jenkins repo. So this is the command. So now the Jenkins repo has been downloaded. Next is to import the keys, the GPG keys. Next, we will install Jenkins. Installation has completed. Now let's start the service and enable Jenkins. So by default, Jenkins runs on or listens on 8080 port. So now we can see that Jenkins is up and running on the server. Now the next part is the Jenkins configuration via the browser. So use the IP address and access this IP address on port 8080 to complete the further configuration for Jenkins. So now you will see that to ensure Jenkins is securely set up, a password is written to the log on our server on which we installed the Jenkins. So this is the file where the password is provided. Let's go to that file. This is our password. So we need to paste this password here. And then let's continue. Okay. So Jenkins is a tool which can be used with hundreds of plugins to enhance its power and usability. So let's see what plugins are available. As you see, there are multiple plugins available based on organization and administration, build, build analysis, reporting, pipelines, source code, etc. There are a lot of plugins which are already selected as default. So we'll just go with the default plugin installation as of now. I'm just going to pause the video here for some time while this is installing. After plugin installation, we have to create the first admin user.
Okay, so Jenkins is ready. There. So our installation is now complete. The Jenkins portal is up and running now. So to install Jenkins successfully and configure it, what we did was we installed Java, downloaded the Jenkins repo, imported the GPG keys, installed Jenkins using yum, then started the Jenkins service and enabled it for reboot and configured Jenkins via the browser. And with these steps, what happens is a Jenkins user is created. The config file for Jenkins is etc config Jenkins, where all the configuration details are stored. The default port on which Jenkins listens is 8080. And the default log file is var log Jenkins Jenkins.log. So if you have to troubleshoot, you can just go to this log file and take a look at the logs. Let's take a quick look at the portal again. So this is your Jenkins portal. You can create new jobs here or you can manage Jenkins. So there are a lot of uh, configuration options provided here. You can manage your plugins. You can add, remove or disable plugins or you can manage nodes like you can add slave nodes to the Jenkins master. You can configure the system or global security or credentials. Uh, so a lot of uh, options are available here. So this was the manual method of installation. In the upcoming Jenkins video, I will show you how to fully automate this entire procedure using Ansible to deploy Jenkins faster. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more interesting videos. Thank you.